Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Galant Bodybuilding. Motion. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what's better for creating muscle mass. And a lot of times, and, and I'm one of these people too, like a lot of times people assume that the more stability that is needed in the exercise, the more activation of the prime muscle groups. And I will say that this can be true, but it's not always true. And one thing that I found, and, and an incredible blessing of some of the injuries that I've received, <laughs> you know, it's good to look at the, the, the silver lining, you know what I'm saying? But when I dislocated my shoulder, I started to realize from this instability in the shoulder that all sorts of muscles started to activate differently because of the instability of the shoulder. So even when I was doing bicep curls, the shoulder would fall forward because the labrum isn't there anymore. It doesn't, doesn't keep a stable base, right? So it slips out of the socket slightly. So because of this, I found that I couldn't get as good bicep activation when I was doing just standard arm curls. Whereas before, it was just like all the tension was going right into the muscle belly of the bicep. But once I had that dislocating shoulder issue, then the arm would move around a little bit and that would take away some of the tension on the actual bicep itself. So it was harder or more challenging for me to activate that prime muscle group. So in this way, I realized that if you're going to work a muscle group and you really want to concentrate the tension on there, you want both sides of that muscle belly to be stabilized as much as possible so that all the force, or at least a lot of the force, is going to be concentrated on that muscle belly. So in this way, you may find that there's going to be times that machines are more effective for you to build muscle mass than a free weight. Or you will find that by using a bar, right, or just one dumbbell and putting both your hands on that dumbbell, you may find you get more stimulation in a certain muscle group than using two individual dumbbells. And that's because when you're using two individual dumbbells, like unilateral type training, there's going to be more emphasis on the stabilizing through the shoulder, say for instance in bicep curls or in skull crushers, right? So I experimented with this the other day just for fun, because I always play around. And I was doing skull crushers with two individual dumbbells. And then I thought, hey, just for change, I'm gonna do one dumbbell, just a heavier dumbbell, and put both hands on there. Well, what happened was I felt far more activation on the tricep because my shoulder or my internal rotators of my shoulder did not have to stabilize as much when I was using two individual dumbbells. So this is something to consider. It's good to do the stabilization type movements here and there. I'm not saying it isn't good to do those things, but don't get too stuck in a paradigm where you think that, oh, if I have to stabilize more, that's somehow always more effective for muscle mass gains. So I found the two-handed skull crusher on the incline was more effective than the two dumbbells on an incline because I could get this stretch without having the emphasis or the tension moving to the rotator cuff, right? It was staying more on the muscle belly of the tricep. So that would be a primary example of what I'm speaking about. So yeah, experiment around, but don't be too shy from using a machine once in a while because you might be pleasantly surprised once you feel all that tension just hitting this one particular area instead of it being distributed all, the, all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times trainees, when they're trying to activate a certain area or a weak spot, they're saying, hey, I just can't get this place to grow or can't get this muscle to grow. Well, the reason why is because usually when they're training that body part, they're training too many other body parts at the same time and they're not able to concentrate that tension on that weak part. So yeah, in this case, 
you may need to stabilize those other areas in order to make sure that that muscle gets some decent amount of stimulation for growth. So I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Mountain. Fountain. Water. Beach and stuff. <laughs>